Right, so here we are with nothing to do with CB again. We've got a Max on PM 150, and uh, I've just shorted out the little tiny bit of three inches of power lead. This is a radio ham friend, he's in our radio society, South Coast Even Amateur Radio Society, and he's had this radio passed on to him. He's very lucky with them originally being 367 plus VAT, and uh, a very reliable set with uh, 20,000 our meantime before breakdown rating so it's got a wrong little this is low band so this is be, this has been programmed on four meters I think he needs to buy himself a new microphone <laughs> it's a bit dodgy So he wants it turning down because I, I, it's higher than he would like. Now our test instrument, and let's see if picture in picture works today, because it didn't earlier today. I've put it on, I promise you, I have switched picture from picture on, so if it doesn't appear, it ain't me. Now our test set only goes to 30 watts, and this has been set for 45 watts, so I'll just um, quickly key up, yeah it's straight across. So we'll just start by turning that down. I, this is going to be a nightmare with these short. The power preset is in there. Yeah, it is, it's there. Imagine if this was a CB radio and and the screwdriver expert was trying to do the opposite and turn it up. Right. I think we're gonna to have to use that screwdriver again. Everything's insulated, so it's not a problem this time. So we set at 25 watts now. So that was not easy. So let's see what he's transmitting on. I don't know what he's programmed into this. Oh, it starts off on channel 13, which is calling channel 70.45 so because I've got the radio this way on I'm going to start with receive because this is the receive we'll see what the sensitivity is like we need to set the test set to 70.45 so we have 70.45 on the signal generator So we need to see what the cyanide is. Tell you what, the detector sounds out. So at the moment, the radio is doing 0 0.49. So it's, it's clearly the right version because there's four versions and the coils aren't in silly positions and my background music system has just gone over to radio. Oh, that's the improvement.
detectors down there if I remember right. So we'll put the oscilloscope on. Oh, I'm doing the cyanide. I'm not even showing you the cyanide. I've got, still got it on the frequency counter. So we'll go over to the... Um, I'm trying to do this so quickly. Absolutely miles out. It must have sounded dreadful. Wow, that's an improvement. So now for 12 decibel cyanide. We've got 0 0.4. I could say 0 0.395. So I'm glad about that, we've improved it, and it must have been absolutely awful listening to it like that. Where did I put the case bottom? Here. Now the thing is, this is not, this case bottom says a different model to what it is. It says it's a 4150, it's not, it's a 4050. And I'd like to know the exact model number and put a label up because if this is ever reprogrammed you need to know the model number to program it so we don't need to touch the phase like loop which is ill here with the test point there but we do need to just bring it on frequency so I'll put this over to the frequency counter once again we've got fine and coarse I can't remember which way around it is but uh, we'll soon find out so 70.45021 so we'll just pop that onto frequency exactly well come down on that one Okay, so that's now spot on frequency, which is great. So it's coarse and fine, as far as I can see. So next we need to set... Um, we just need to make sure the deviation's right. So I need to once again reset the test equipment for 70.45 megs. So we'll do that now. Wallow. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Wallow. One, two, one, two. That's actually spot on. We're not going to have CTCSS with it being on amateur radio. I'm just going to check. No, there's no CTCSS there. RV4 is maximum deviation. Uh, this is talking about 25 spacing. So, just to point out which one it is, it's RV4. So deviation is that one. I, I, I'm, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think that's digital code squelch. 
and that one is um, is CTCSS but um, I, I haven't got time to get the full manuals in storage at the moment so I'm having to just use a few snippets there so we'll just just to prove it we'll just do the uh, CTCSS sorry we'll just do the ordinary not the CTCSS yeah that's it one two one two there we go and that's absolutely spot on so it's definitely uh, there and I because you've got another one there and so I'm just not sure these are programmed by taking the um, EE prom out of the set and putting it into the SMP 4001 programmer which is DOS computer programmed the full service manual has the circuit diagram and printed circuit board blank to make the programmer so if you get hold of the full service manual the details are there to make the programmer it's what did I do? I leave my fat tummy, I think, against the scan switch. I did. Uh, pressing button one for a long press is dimmer. Oh, where it used to be. Perhaps it's uh, two. It is, it's two. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff readily downloadable, and what I like about these sets, I mean they were mid 90s, is that they were sophisticated enough and to be good quality, I mean they're very good quality, don't get me wrong, but they're very reliable, um, but they use leaded components, so we haven't got the problem with SMD stuff, and um, you know I've made sure I've paid the money out and bought the programmers to do it. The other programmer, which is kind of done in hex, is the SMP 4000 but it's the right faff to do but you can change some parameters on that which you can't on the SMP 4001 now sometimes you'll see an expansion board in here instead and they've taken the EEPROM out and then you've got this um, expansion board and that is a system set which has got cell call and it either has 32 channels or 99 channels depending how many memory ICs are on there uh, and they were like a, a 99 pound option at the time but these are 16 channels as they come which is more than adequate for uh, most business use and, and to be honest on four meters what are there about only about 20 channels anyway so uh, that's about it now if you come across one with the um, with the expansion board in is programmed with SMP 4002 and the lead has in the plug end a um, MAX 232 chip and a little printed circuit board so it's not just the lead it's got uh, uh, you know this old thing but I, I bought one recently from the United States for around about 90 pounds so they can be done and it's worthwhile if you've got some mates you know it's cheaper than crystals isn't it at 30 pounds each you get an old set you put a pair of crystals in it's cost you 60 quid you spend £90 for the programming equipment for this and as long as you've got a few to do it's very very worthwhile and you're getting 16 channels so we've got a bit of noise on the volume control and there is a tantalum B capacitor that can be inserted the wrong way round um, and that can put DC onto the volume control so it's not always the volume control that's it's a bit crackly but um, it's not here for service it's, as such it's just to make sure it's only doing 25 watts and that's exactly what it's doing so it's spot on I've improved the receive for him and I've no doubt we'll be hearing him on four meters but I just can't find I was hoping there's going to be a sticker somewhere with the model number repeated um, it's certainly the right band he's got and um, but it's not a 4150 it's a 4050 and depending what the filters are um, yeah I expect that's on the other side isn't it so there you go quick um, a quick adjustment of a Maxon PM150 and um, but there's so many different versions the, the 4050 is what you want for um, 70 megs and it needs to be um, NLA or SLA to be honest to be the down band because if you end up with the top band you end up having to change some capacitors 
otherwise you're going to have def receive because it's the wrong end of the band. The 415 which is purports to be but isn't, is the VHF one which again comes in different bands and uh, the high band won't go under 148 megs so it's no good for 2 meters. So that will be the uh, 4150NH, you want um, NL or SL. N is 12 and a half spacing and S is 25 spacing and on UHF you want um, the, it's the 4450 and it'll be uh, again at one of the lower bands so it'll be um, like NLA something like that or SLA so it's no good getting one on 470 megs when you want it on 433 so that works a treat and he can have that back and he can fiddle about with his stupid short power lead and there's another non-CB job today. Max on PM150 from the mid-90s, now on 4 metres beautifully. Thank you for watching.